All right, YouTube Repo Man 64. I think I forgot to turn on the camera. Nope, that's not what we want. I don't know what that is. Hey DJ, how you doing? Trying to get this thing up and running. I'm not quite sure how to do it. Let's see here. All right, there we go. We got the camera going. Oh. Turn the volume down on this. All right. How's everybody feeling? Fellowship for the last day, maybe? We'll see, right? We won't know until it happens. I have to leave the glasses on so I can see the screen. How's everybody doing today? Hi, Gina. Six Miracles. P. Gonzalez, how's everybody doing? <clears throat> I got the Bluetooth hooked to the computer. I've got a hard wire going into the, uh, the box, straight to the computer. We should have no lagging today, no Wi-Fi problems. Octavio, hola, ¿cómo le va? ¿Está listo? Yo estoy listo también. Vamos a ir a, ¿cómo se llama? Cielo, cielo. Probably not a good idea to, uh, to be caught drinking <laughs> before Jesus comes. That's a, uh, Thing I wouldn't want to do. All right. I got to turn the volume down on my phone. I'm looking at my phone so I can see the chat. Hi from the Philippines. How are you doing? I want to get started after uh, we build it up a little bit. I said I'd be on in an hour, and that was 40 minutes ago. I uh, didn't know this was going to go as well as it did. So no lagging. Hopefully uh, this thing doesn't get goofy. It looks like it's going to work a lot better. I had to go buy a 150 foot of... Uh, Ethernet Cat 6 cable and run it from the router straight out to the computer. 150 foot. <laughs> Wait for some mods to get in here. I forgot to announce it on Discord that I was going to do this. Let me see. How do I do this? Let's see. Share. Copy link. Go into Discord. Into my room. No, oh, Gina already did it. <laughs> She's fast. She's a lot faster than I am. Oh, yeah, she did. Is it named my broadcast? That's weird. Thought I put live broadcast. All right, everybody can hear me. Everything's fine. Patrick's here. Hey, Patrick. I got the stinky, smelly thing. 
Keep the bugs away. I'll wait till the to the uh, till everybody gets in here before I start. I want to show you a few things, some numbers that line up really well for tomorrow. I wasn't a big uh, eclipse fan because I think God's going to do this. Well, I say that, but I think He's going to He's going to let us know. And and then after thinking about it, I'm like, what bigger event is the whole United States looking at than the eclipse? It doesn't happen around the world, so I'm kind of leaning back and forth between the two. I'm not 100% sure. So Gina's in here. We're up to 227. Should I get started? Everybody can hear me fine. I've got the Bluetooth connected to the computer, so we're good with that. I wonder how the eclipse would shift. That's weird. How is that even a thing? Flight 777. I'm not a good actor, so that was uh, a bit nerve-wracking for me. I can be on here all day long, but to assume a role, <laughs> I'm not very good at it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the pictures, try to keep up with the chat at the same time. If you have a question, start it with question. And then I'll try to catch it as it goes by. Uh, Gina, after a little while, when the chat grows, uh, she'll slow it down so that I can keep up. So we can stop the uh, repeat uh, uh, posters to, uh, to stop repeating the same thing, which happens. And I see it in every live chat. So, all right, let's go to the pictures. Of course, we're going to let me turn the volume on. It's still annoying. OK. Going into the pictures and we're going to start here. Let's see here. I can do this. Now, I showed you this before. Thomas in the upper room, 153 days after. Um, after the flood. It is also 153 days to the first day of creation. This date. Did I do something wrong? Oh, I did it wrong. This is the <laughs> this is the date here. Um, there are 153 days from the flood. The flood was on Halloween, November the first. You count 150. Anybody can go into time and date. See, it's 153 days. Now, in a leap year, it will move by one day because they put this this day, February 29th, in there. But for the most part. Um, we're looking at uh, the rise of Jesus to happen on April the 3rd. I'm fully aware, and I get comments all the time, I'm fully aware that they are showing Jesus' resurrection on March 31st. They're showing it uh, Passover on April 23rd. They're showing all kinds of different dates. This timeline just sticks to March 17th here as being the head of the year. If you count from... The whole, almost the entire world said, yeah, the flood happens on Halloween. Uh, when it was that time, they all left their timelines and went to the flood being on Halloween. And then they just decided to go back to their timelines when they knew it, it, this is the only one that actually reaches to Jesus as being on the cross on March 30th. So what happens April the 8th? It's two days before Thomas in the upper room, which is also 153 days to creation. So why April the 8th? And I racked my brains out for a while trying to figure it out until I, until I remembered that this timeline or calendar, God said, this now is ahead of your year. This now is ahead of your year. So what did he do? He moved it back a half a year, six months. He moved it back 182 days. So if you go 182 days forward down to here, where am I at? You go right here to October the 8th. Remember, Israel's attacked on October the 7th. On October the 8th, uh, if we abide by what God said, God said on on. Feast of Trumpets, he said, this now is ahead of your year. He moved it back. He didn't move Feast of Trumpets because Feast of Trumpets didn't even exist until later on in, I forget, is it uh, Exodus? So, yeah, in Leviticus is where he sets up Feast of Trumpets. It didn't even exist yet. So he moved 
uh, Rosh Hashanah back six months, 182 days. And you go forward. So it just based on that concept, overlapping the calendar, overlapping the timeline, you can go to October the 8th and you can move back six months. On that day, Jesus is named and circumcised on that day. It's the last day of the tabernacles. So we move back six months and we land on April 8th, which is where the flood is. So that's what got me uh, really interested in looking at the eclipse. I didn't think the eclipse was going to amount to much, and maybe it still doesn't, but we're still watching. Look, we have to see the rapture event take place very soon. It cannot go on much longer. It's not an event that can happen in a couple of years. Either that or we have completely messed up the map. Now, I watched Dr. Barry's video and he said something which was very interesting. I really liked what he said. He said, if we'd just done simple math, in 2007, I started watching when I had my surgery in March of 2018. So I missed the Revelation 12 sign. I've been watching long before that, but I was dealing with my business and everything else. And God stopped me in my tracks, put me in a bed. And of course, what am I going to do? I don't even know what happened. I had space up there. It was supposed to keep running. There, space is supposed to keep running. So um, he stops me in my tracks and I start watching all of these YouTube videos and I'm like, oh Lord, this, this is, maybe it's finally coming. Maybe it's finally gonna happen. So I, uh, I don't know if that's gonna keep going. So I started researching and the first thing I noticed and I'd always noticed previous was that nobody knew when the first day of the year was. Nobody knew when it was. Everybody has a different idea as to when the head of the year was. So I prayed. That's what I prayed for. I should have prayed for the date because God answered this prayer. Earthquake just went off. Let me see where. Where is that at? Earthquakes have been going off the charts. They're all happening around Australia for the most part. That's kind of kind of crazy. Yeah, they've been look at that. They've been going off Indonesia, China. They've been going off quite a bit. So anyway, um, he said something in his video. Let me get back to that. He said something and he said, had we just done simple math from 2017 and uh went forward to this the, the seven years uh we would have never landed we knew jesus didn't go to the cross in 2024 we i mean in, in 24 a.d we knew that um but we didn't it was kind of like he said like dr barry said we kind of had blinders on to it why well because of all this research and and bringing in people into the group into watching and and being involved in all of this and i thought that was that was really profound really profound that uh god wanted us exactly where we are researching and studying nobody's ever figured out the date obviously we're still standing here but there's going to come a day when amos 3 7 is fulfilled and that day maybe it's tomorrow i mean we're kind of missing the uh, forest for the trees. Uh, we do have this huge event happening tomorrow, so it could very well be. Let me get back to, where am I at? The pictures. All right, so you can see that April the 8th is exactly six months earlier than uh, when Jesus was named and circumcised. So he was born on September the 30th. I know a lot of people are trying to attribute him to being born on the first day of creation on September the 11th. Uh, but the math just doesn't work. If you go eight days, remember if he's born eight days later, he has to be circumcised. It would have been right here on September 19th, 20th. There's just no event here. There's nothing happening here anywhere. These it's, it's at the, it's at the eighth day of awe, but it's called the 10 days of awe. So there's, there's no way that he was born on September the 11th. He had to have been born on September 30th, Tishri 15 tabernacles, and then 
eight days later, because the Tabernacles is an eight-day feast, he was uh, named and circumcised. All right. Yes, I see, I've see. i seen that. A lot of people are finding passages in the Bible, Exodus 4, 8. There's a lot of passages in the Bible that resonate with, with people uh, that are, it, it, it lines up just like this. Uh, can you stop the live chat by touching the screen? Can I do what? Can you stop the live chat by touching the screen? Oh, you can stop the live chat. Oh, oh I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, I see what you're saying. I'm looking at my phone uh, while I'm on the computer. All right. Let's see. Next picture. I wanted to go through this again. I know I went through it last time, but my daughter taught me how to write on pictures. And so now I'm writing on all the pictures. The very moment that Mercury stops heading towards the second band of Pisces, it goes into retrograde. On the timeline, on 4-3, is where Jesus rises. That's the very moment that it goes back. I literally, I mean, we all looked at, at Resurrection Day thinking this had to be it. Now, and again, maybe, maybe, maybe I can have all the timelines in the world all figured out day to day perfectly. It could be perfect, but it might be that God chooses a day like the eclipse to uh, bring jealousy to the, uh, because I believe they're using the moon and they're using Aries. I, I'm not sure if they're using Aries or not. I'm not sure how they're arriving at the last Sabbath of the year as being um, April the 8th. Um, but that's what they're looking at. And then they're counting, I think, from there. They should be counting from there 14 days. And I think they're landing on the 22nd, 23rd for Jesus uh, going to the cross. So this would be an ideal time for a rapture as well. So it might be that the timeline is just not being used. So that's, but the timeline I believe is accurate because here he rises. Here, I show you again that he rises. This is 12 hours later. You can see very clearly that Mercury has begun. It's, uh, it's moved away. It has begun its retrograde. It's moving away 12 hours later, and then this is the uh, the big picture of where it's at. So on the second band, this fish is facing up. I hate it when it does that. This fish is facing up towards heaven. This fish is still looking back at the earth. Like I said in the last video, it drives me insane when people are like, when you're going up, don't look back. Dude, you people, <laughs> you're going straight to heaven. There's no looking back. You can't lose this opportunity by looking back. That's not what it meant about Lot's wife. Her mind was still on the earth. She was a tribulation saint. That's why she was left behind. She didn't go to the lake of fire because she was rescued out of there, but she was left behind because she was still worried about the world. Okay? All right. You're not in the mood for a rapture tomorrow. Then you won't be raptured tomorrow. That's uh, that's pretty, pretty uh, evident. Uh, if you don't want to go, uh, God won't take you. The uh, okay, let's let me keep going here. Um, this is Thomas in the upper room on four eight. You'll notice it's two days after the eclipse. Mercury has made its way back. Mercury's the messengers made it its way halfway back in between the two bands to the sun. This is the moment that Jesus, Jesus rises on the third. He tells Mary, don't touch me for I have not ascended the father. He rises to the father and he stays up there. That He leaves that afternoon. He rises to the father, stays up there, and he does the wave sheaf offering on our behalf. He does it on the day he meets Thomas in the upper room. He does it on April the 10th. He does the wave sheaf offering. And then he uh, returns to Thomas in the upper room that afternoon. He meets them on the shore. He has bread. So we know there's a week of no bread. There's a week of unleavened bread. There's a week of no bread. He shows up exactly on this day, which would have had to have been a Sunday after the week of no bread. And 
on the shore, he has cooked fish and he has bread. And this is where Jesus tells them to cast the net on the other side of the boat and they drag in 153 fish. On April the 20th, Jesus begins his 40 day walk on April the 20th. Um, it will, he will walk, he will, uh, I'm sorry. That it, th th yes, he begins the 40-day walk before he ascends. He does this on April the 20th. He will ascend. And then you see second Passover. You see Mercury is beginning to go back that away. You see second Passover. And then Jesus will ascend. Uh, then Israel is 76. So I believe we have to be out of here before Israel turns 76. You see Mercury now, when Israel becomes 76, is back on the second band it's returned to the second band now jesus ascends he ascends on 5 30. on may 30th jesus ascends they're telling you and again their math there's i think they're saying that he ascends on may 18th or something i think what they're doing is counting from the moment he rose they're forgetting about the seven days and then they're uh, of uh, unleavened bread they're forgetting about the seven days of no bread and the three days after they drug those fish in, uh, then he begins his walk. So he begins his walk on 420, and then he uh, ascends on 530. Okay, let me get through this. Let's see. Somebody sent me this. How do I enlarge this? Whoa. All right. Somebody sent me this comment. I don't know if it's in Discord or it might have been in, uh, in here. I'm not sure. It says uh, 2445 talks about from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. When you look at Torah, calendar, lie, Jerusalem, time clock, it shows the sixth hour to be 11 to 12. So I guess he's what he's done here. I, I took a picture of it because I, I believe he was trying to figure out uh, the time, perhaps, that the rapture might occur tomorrow. So I thought that was pretty cool. I love all the math that everybody does, everybody trying to figure this out. This something, somebody sent me this. Apparently, there is an, a volcano and it's puffing out rings. <laughs> I don't know if this is a common thing, but the, I read a few articles. It says it's extremely rare. How the smoke rings form wasn't well understood. Formation requires a calm atmosphere and a circular volcanic vent. And technically, it isn't really smoke. When hot gases are released suddenly from the vent in a short pulse, the gases ri uh, rush upward and create a cloud, not unlike plain calm trails. They wrote contrails, but it's calm trails. While the smoke rings have been documented at volcanoes worldwide, multiple displays like this one are extremely rare. Somebody sent me a comment saying that this event is a very rare event. We're seeing all kinds of rare events right now, aren't we? We're seeing all kinds of strange things happening. So keep our eyes out. Uh, oh, Isaiah 53. He's always working on math. He does so much math. I, I took a picture of this. God bless you, Mike. Could be April 8th. I like Jerusalem sunrise. It's 618, and he does some math here. Genesis 618, but with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark. Thou and thy sons and thy wife and thy sons' wives with thee. And then uh, my soul waited for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. Say more that. Oh, he's trying to say that he believes it's at sunrise tomorrow morning, which when is sunrise for them? It's probably 11 p.m. for me, Eastern Standard Time, right? It'd be about sunrise for, for them. Or maybe it was 6.30, also at 11.30. Dr. Chris Zimmer. I made a, a, a mistake on his name. I think I called him David by mistake. Dr. Chris Zimmer just made a very good video. Uh, I think you should have, you know, a lot more subscribers than that. This is good information for the Tribulation Saints. It would be nice if you could put a link in here, uh, Gina, for his YouTube and go in and subscribe to his channel. He's... Uh, he does a lot of really good work. I love his work and his math and, and the stuff that he does in there. 
God's Land Down Under is in here. Any a Gina or, or any mod, if you see anyone uh, in here that has a YouTube, if you could post their YouTube, God's Land Down Under, Brett has a YouTube. Uh, be nice to get as much as much of us who are just dreaming about this day, as many of us with as many subscribers as we can so that this information might make it through to the Tribulation Saints. If we, in fact, do go tomorrow, I think there'll be a lot of people standing in heaven going, man, if only, if only I had, you know, done a little thing of subscribing to them, you know, so this information could get out to my aunts, uncles, cousins, whoever, that they will be part of the great multitude that will show up in heaven shortly after. Oh, this was Dr. Barry's. Okay, I wanted, I'm going to show you something that I think blew my mind. Uh, he's wrestling back and forth between 30 AD and 31 AD as to when Jesus was crucified. He makes a good point in his video that uh, it could have been 31 AD by virtue of the year being moved back six months. It could still, you know, nobody really knows when it changed the year. I can tell you this, the Gregorian year changed on January 1st. The Gregorian calendar is modeled after the Julian calendar. And the Julian calendar started their year on January 1st. But the Julian calendar was so bad that by the time uh, 1,500 years later, <coughs> sorry, after it was made, <coughs> they realized that they were 11 days off. So the Gregorian calendar is nothing more than a fix-it <coughs> to the Julian calendar. This bug zapper <coughs> is getting me sick, I think. Um, it's nothing more than a fix. That's all it is. The Gregorian calendar is modeled after the Julian calendar. January 1st is the head of the year. It's been like that for, <coughs> I want to say, 50, 50 years before Christ is when it started. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> uh, I don't know what just happened. <coughs> anyway, so... 30 AD, Jesus had to have gone to the cross because in 70 AD is when the temple was destroyed. It had to be 30 AD. There's, in my mind, there is no question that it was 30 AD. I'm going to show you something else about Enoch that also proves that it was 30 AD. Remember, it was 26 AD or 26 and a half AD, however you want to call it, uh, when Jesus... And it might be 30 and a half. I'll, I'll look at the numbers here in a minute. But 26 and a half A.D. when Jesus began his ministry. He began his ministry just five days shy of him turning 30 years old. Remember, you must be 30 years old to be a priest, a rabbi. And that's why in Luke you'll see where it says he was about 30 years old. So he started... After he was tempted by the devil for 40 days, and that landed on, I think it was atonement, and then five days later, he becomes 30 years old. And I'll show you that here in a moment. All right. I've showed you this before, and I want to put some more information in it. The Book of Jubilees, an apocryphal, apocryphal Jewish work written during the Second Temple period, gives time frames for the events that led to the fall of man by stating that the serpent convinced Eve to eat the fruit on the 17th day of the second month in the eighth year after Adam's creation. So, they've been in the garden for seven years and 47 days. That's what the eighth year and 17th day is. That's, that is a full uh, seven years and 47 days. How old is Adam? It seems to me that Adam would be, it doesn't say here, but it seems to me Adam would be 33 years old. It also seems to me that the Antichrist will be 33 years old. So, because Satan's trying to copy, uh, Satan is always trying to copy God in everything, right? So, uh, Jesus, 33, Adam, 33, and I believe Satan will be 33. Uh, or the Antichrist when he comes to power, be 33. Now, how old, if in fact it's seven years from when Adam was created to when, and 47 days to when Adam sinned, how old was Adam? 
He was 26. What year did Jesus begin his ministry? 26 AD. You see how it matches. To me, it's it's pretty uh pretty solid as to uh the year was 30 AD. This is just another proof, another evidence of the year. All right. And this is where I did my work on it. So from the eclipse to the Revelation 12 sign, it was 33 and a half days. Remember, the eclipse from the, uh, the, the, the eclipse would have been at night and the Revelation 12 sign, sorry, the eclipse would have been during the day and the Revelation 12 sign on September the 23rd would have been at night. It would have been one happened during the day, one happened at night, 12 hours later. It would have been 33 and a half days. That 33 and a half pops up everywhere. That's how old Jesus was when he went to the cross. Ex actually, it was exactly how old he was to the day. He was 33 years old and 182 two days old from when he was born to when he went to the cross. Now, all this information is great. It's still not giving us a rapture date, but I'm telling you that this information is important because it puts us on the right track of when it is. So 33 and a half days. Now, if you count back um, seven years, he would be 26. Adam was 26 when he was created. He was created in motion. He wasn't created a fetus or a toddler or a child or a teenager. No, he was created at the age of 26. And then seven years and 47 days later, Adam sinned and was removed from the garden in the fourth month of first day. All right. So this is where I did my math. Now. We, and I have said this before in previous videos, there are two jubilees running in tandem. They are exactly one Shemitah cycle apart. One jubilee began at creation, year zero. The other one began when Adam sinned. Both jubilees operate on a different, therefore, they're seven years apart. They operate on a different schedule. One jubilee just ended. We do not have to wait. Somebody said that we have to wait another 50 years for the next Jubilee. No, we don't. They have to wait another seven years for the next Jubilee for their time to come, the Jews. The middle of the Jubilee, half a Shemitah cycle. I believe it was uh, Tim Foster that did a good video on that, showing that halfway through a Shemitah cycle, is uh, things appear to happen as well. So, Adam was 26 and a quarter when he was created. Let's see here. From 26 to 30 AD, Adam, 26, Jesus, 26 to 30. They match. That's how I, uh, that's just for me, another proof that Jesus, in fact, went to the cross on uh, 30 AD. All right. From Adam, Adam was 33 years old and 91 days. Exactly. He was 33 years old and 91 days. Adam was created on September the, let me go look here real quick. How do I get back to, uh, to my other pictures? I don't want to scroll all the way back. Let me see here. Uh, does that do it? Okay, there we go. Is it here? No, it's all the way back here. Where am I at now? Right here? Okay. All right. Let me zoom in a little bit. Right here <clears throat> on Halloween, October 31st, November 1st, Adam, Adam sins. I don't know. Oh, there, Arco Shesla begins. I don't know why I don't have Adam sinning on here, but that's the day that Adam sinned. In the second month of 17th day, Adam was in the garden and God said, we need to remove him unless he eats the tree of life and live forever. So God removed him the fourth month and first day. Uh, right here, Adam was removed from the garden. And of course, lo and behold, when I put it on the timeline, it's the last day of Hanukkah. It's almost like God wanted them to be in uh 
in the Garden of Eden until the, until Hanukkah ended. No, Jesus was not born on Hanukkah, Festival of Lights. I know everybody says, but he's the light of the world. He is, but he was born back here on September the 30th. He was exactly 33 and a half years old when he went to the cross. Some people say he was born here on September the 11th. He wasn't. Adam was created right here on uh, September the 17th, one day before. God rested on Tishri 3, one day before September the 18th. And then uh, when God, when, you know, when God removed it from the garden, it was four month, It was the fourth month and first day right here. Tamu or Tibet one, December the 16th. All right. So, uh, how do I get back to where I was? Let me go. Is it here? A little bit further. All right. And Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age. This is the passage in Luke. Let me go back to. Well, maybe I have the picture here. So Jesus, when he finished the 40 days, he was about 30 years of age. And that passage is put in there very carefully because we want to know how old Jesus was when he began his ministry of three and a half years. So right here, let me enlarge this a little bit. Right here, Jesus is born. Right here, Jesus is circum circumcised. Right here in 26 AD, you see the end of it, tempted by the devil. He is done being tempted by the devil on September the 25th, Tishri 10. Again, all of this math, I, I just found this out uh, the other day and I put it on. I didn't put it on the timeline, but I added this in uh, Crayola. <laughs> and uh, it is exactly five days before he was born five days before he was born so he would have been 29 years old and just five days shy becoming 30 years old right here on september the 30th and then this of course is six months earlier is when we're having this eclipse all right let me go on to the next pick jesus being full of the holy ghost returned from jordan and was led by the spirit into the wilderness being 40 days tempted of the devil i wanted to make sure you understand that he's tempted and then he begins his ministry this is luke 4 this is luke 4 this is the very beginning of luke this is luke 4 what is that 414 yeah this is where he begins his ministry, after the 40 days, five days before he turns 30 years old, which is why Luke said he was about 30. That's why he says that. All right. I wanted to show you something. Uh, who said this? Somebody made mention of this in a video. It might have been Chris Zimmer. I don't recall who did, but. We hold an election here in the United States on November the 5th, and we determine who our next president is. The next president is called president-elect. He has been elected president, but he will not take office until January the 20th. January the 20th is 75 days after they are elected. Elected here, 75 days later, they assume the role of office, unless, of course, the 20th falls on a, I think it's Sunday, then they, they move it back one day. But they assume presidency on January 20th, 75 days later. Remember, this Gregorian calendar from the Enoch calendar is 75 days off. That keeps popping up everywhere. I, let's see here. April. Okay, yeah, this is where um, April the 6th. Not sure why I have. Oh, that, that's an eight. Those are eights, believe it or not. <laughs> April the 8th, you walk back six months and you land uh, or go forward six months. You land on October the 8th. So you could say that it's an overlap. It's an overlap of when Jesus was named and circumcised on October the 8th. And this is also the day of this eclipse. So it's, it's something that coincides. It, it matches. All right. 
let's see here. 48th president. Hey, let's see. No questions. All right. Why on April the 8th are they starting this thing up? Why are they firing this thing off on April the 8th? It is to search for, this is why they're doing it. It is to search for the invisible, invisible particle. We all know who the invisible particle is. It's God himself. It's Jesus Christ. That is the invisible particle. They are building a Tower of Babel. They are attempting to get there under their own accord. That's why they built this thing. They, do, they will not just kneel down and say, you're Lord, and that's it. I'm following you, and I have nothing to bring or offer. They are building their own Tower of Babel right here. That's what they're searching for. The God particle, the invisible particle that controls the universe. They want to get there under their own accord. They won't just kneel down and accept the Lord and get there on his terms. They're going to get there on their own terms. This is going to happen on April the 8th. So, all right. Some uh, mathematical uh, symmetry that I wanted to bring to you so that you could see. Uh, that April the 8th is, in fact, uh, symmetrical. It's, in, it's, in, it's symmetrical. So, yeah, CERN, for me, CERN is nothing more than a Tower of Babel. Uh, they're trying to get there under their own accord. I thought it would be brighter than that. I wanted to just like us flying through space behind me, but it didn't work out. <clears throat> so, <laughs> those damn scientists. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, so we have the Discord, Sister Sandy. It would be nice if you could put on your, uh, she had made a web page for all of the watchers. It's fantastic. Um, looking up on YouTube and on Facebook. Uh, she does a lot of, of great stuff uh, as well. So, um, honestly, uh, if it wasn't for Sister Sandy, I, I, mathematically this this thing would have been very difficult to follow i don't know if you remember the old days of my crayon one so i really owe her a, a debt for that i appreciate that so much let's see yeah give it a thumbs up and help the algorithm skip over there and give it a thumbs up Yeah, they have tried to get to heaven under their own auspices for so long. Uh, it just doesn't work out. It never works out for them. It just never works out. At the Tower of Babel, we all spoke the same language. Did you know there's seven root languages on the face of the earth? Seven. All languages that are spoken, even though they sound different, are they all come from seven root languages. God split up the languages uh, at that moment. There you go. End time studies, Sister Sandy. Thank you very much. Yeah, I wanted to get on here before tomorrow and show you uh, the timeline and why for me, um, the eighth was looking very, uh, very important uh, just because of how it matches. Jesus was named and circumcised on that day. On that day, do we get a new name and new bodies? Shed this old body and it's changed into a, a new body. We've been looking so forward to this. We're running out of time. 6,000 years is up. 2,000 years is up. Jesus went to the cross in 30 AD. But it's still, it's still, uh, it's still 2030 until it's 2031. God moved everything back six months. So it literally... Everything you see in September literally overlaps perfectly. Uh, now, the only thing that didn't and bothered me, and you know, every when I built the timeline, uh, on New York shaking, yeah. Why is that? That's a show hide. I don't even know what that means. Um, yeah, I think the site we've we saw we saw. Um, an earthquake uptick when uh, they abstained from the vote. This is the first time we've abstained from a vote uh, to veto something for Israel. And then 
And then in their infinite wisdom, uh, and we knew we were going to see this in their infinite wisdom, they decided to uh, tell Iran, we won't get in the middle of that. You got to be kidding me right now. <laughs> I can't even believe that. So, yeah. Then there's an earthquake in New York of a 4.8. Like, uh, is it Watchman 88? Watchman on the wall 88? He's like, you can't make this stuff up. You just, you can't make this stuff up. It just keeps happening. So, uh, I don't know. I, I If we go tomorrow, will it be? I don't know. That's a good question. Will it be at the moment of the eclipse? Will it be first thing in the morning before the eclipse? Will it be the evening time after the eclipse? I don't know. I know that once the eclipse happen, I'm going to be like, oh, but we're going to keep researching. The next event on my timeline will be March the 10th when uh, he sees Thomas in the upper room. So that's when they saw him. So I don't know. And like I said, like Dr. Barry, he made a really good point is if we had just done simple math, if we had just done simple math in 2017, uh, are we paused? Oh, no. My phone's acting up, I think. Yeah, there we go. Um, not my computer, though, because it's hardwired. My computer should be all caught up. Um. So it just it's it just overlaps perfectly those six months. So you could almost say that uh, you know six months were put in the bank because they already lived those six months and God made them relive those six months. Just turn the time back six months. That was his first rule uh, in Exodus twelve. That was the first thing he law he handed down to Moses in Exodus twelve. Is this now is ahead of your year? The very first one, and then he went on to say on the tenth day you'll take in a lamb. On the fourteenth day you'll You'll uh, sacrifice this lamb, put blood above your doorway, and anybody else who wants it up there didn't. He didn't discriminate. Anybody who wants to put the blood believes in the blood, puts the blood up there. Uh, the kid won't die. And then that night they made haste and uh, left. That night on the fifteenth. So, but those dates have passed. Those dates have passed. So we'll see. Hey, looking up. Yeah, me too. I'm so excited to see Jesus win. Win. Patrick. So, does anybody have a question? I just wanted to come on here live, fellowship, show you the correlation that I have found for uh, April the 8th. Look, we've been, yeah, you're right, uh, Brad. We have been studying so hard for nearly seven years now trying to figure it out and for some reason we had blinders on i mean you could sim do simple math for seven year tribulation from 2017 and you'd wind up now you'd wind up right now so this has a, been a good seven years this is a good seven years this is similar to the seven years that jacob spent it was like time just passed right it was just like time just passed just like jacob but Jacob wakes up in the morning with Leah, not with Rachel. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I uh, haven't seen any cool cat stuff lately. He's saying April the 8th is Nissan one. Yeah, and, and there's a lot that are. And I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to disagree with it uh, based on what I understand. But uh, it doesn't mean that uh, God won't use that timeline of the moon just to bring them to jealousy. I think it's wrong. but. It, uh, you know, the moon, you just, it just doesn't work. The moon is there for exactly what you're about to see tomorrow. That's why it's there. It is there to be a harbinger, a warning, and tomorrow will be that warning. Let's see. Yes. Yes, you're right. Yeah, he will, he will be. So... The Antichrist is only getting three and a half years. And so like Jesus was 30, but Adam was 26 when he sinned. Uh, sorry, when he was created. And then when he was removed from the garden, I believe Adam was 33. So that seven years was there. So I believe you're right. I think the, uh, uh, I believe that uh, when, what was I saying? 
I lost my train of thought. Cool Cat's got a lot of comments on here. Uh, I believe that the Antichrist will be uh, 30 years old. You're right. Uh, we keep seeing these dinosaurs, like, older than me. <laughs> That's going to be the Antichrist. No, it's not. Satan is going to try to replicate. He's going to try to confuse everybody. And he's got to come as a 30-year-old. He has to, you know. My uh, thing keeps getting locked up here. Yeah, we don't know. There are they are saying that tomorrow's Nissan one. Is there somebody made a comment that uh, Cool Cat is being nicer, and that's cool. I like that. That's good. That's good. That's awesome. I'm glad he's being uh, nice. You can't really go around and determine who's saved and who isn't. And uh, based on the Bible, I heard something from. I heard something from. Uh, uh, yeah, Dr. Chris Zimmer really did an amazing video. I heard something from somebody that was uh, making the statement that uh, I think it was uh, the Bible formula that was that put on uh, what's his name. I'm going to draw a blank on his name now. The pa the pastor that uh, that he's always putting on there. The Bible formula he's always putting on. The best pastor in the world. Hold on, let me find him real quick so I can say his name correctly. Oops. His name is Chuck Missler. Uh, the Bible Formula has put out a whole series of Chuck Missler videos, which I listen to them all at work, and they're amazing. Uh, he's put out eight of them. And uh, Chuck Missler said something, which was very true, caught my attention. And that was, you can use the Bible to find out an event that took place and use the Bible, gematria or gematria, however you say that. I don't do that. I don't have a clue how that works. But you can find the event in the Bible. But you are not allowed to use the Bible to figure out a future event because that would be called divination. So he, he's, uh, he strictly uh, forbid forbade that from happening so chuck missler yeah he's awesome isn't he? that guy's iq is off the charts i'm not that smart he is so smart his iq is way up there we're gonna see him in heaven so the 144,000 are already there they are coming down here with their new bodies we are going up to get new bodies. They are going to be down here warning everyone. Uh, God's putting them down here. They are the 144,000 children that were killed when Jesus was born. Herod tried to kill in, uh, I forget what town it was. Is it Bethlehem? I don't recall. And all the surrounding areas. And they said that mathematically it would be about 144,000 children uh, under the age of two that Herod killed. And they died. Jesus is the word of God. The word became flesh, and these children died innocently for the word of God. I know lots of children have died since then, but not directly because Jesus was born. So they are given new bodies. They are in heaven. They are going to be sent down here to warn the world and be a thorn in 30-year-old Antichrist's side during that period of time, as, as well as the two witnesses, uh, Enoch and not Enoch. Elijah, is it Elijah and Moses? I think it's Elijah and Moses uh, will be the two witnesses. Yeah, I, I, Chuck Missler's amazing. I, I just loved his videos. He's, he's just he's just so smart and listening to him. But he uh, he definitely warns against. I've heard people using the Bible to try to figure out a future event, and he said that's divination. Don't do it. If you want to see an event that took place, um, like Israel being attacked, you can go in there and find that, but you're not to use it before the fact, is what he said. <laughs> Signs of his coming. Thank you. Now, I've known that for quite some time. It's the only explanation of who they are. I've had I've heard so many argue against it, going, "Well, it had to come from the twelve tribes." They they did. 
he went into the surrounding areas. If you read the passage real closely, it was he, he names a city and then he says all the surrounding areas. <laughs> he got 12,000 from each tribe of those babies, two and under, and wiped them out because he was so worried about somebody coming in and taking his place. Is Cool Cat going live? Yay. The last, the last video I heard is uh, he said he watched the, he said he watched my video for it was a 20 minute video. He said he watched 10 minutes and it was a bunch of jibber jabberish and he turned it off. <laughs> he uh, really compartmentalizes uh, somebody's whole uh, video in, in, in a few short words, minimizes uh, what you do. That's the only thing that uh, he's, he's just got to work on that. Um, maybe he should listen to other people's videos and he could glean, which is what I do. I listen to a lot of videos and I listen for pieces of information, listen to their piece of the puzzle. And, and cool cat is no slouch. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't think he's, he just got to work on his personality. Don't think he's not a good researcher though. I have listened to his stuff. I was really into listening to his stuff before, but then, you know, I, the last, couple of times ago, he said I was going to hell. So I, I just don't want to listen to somebody who's determined for God where I'm going because I know where I'm going. I, I don't need uh, him to say that based on his divination of the Bible and future events. You can't use the Bible for future events. You can't go in and determine somebody's salvation uh, based on the Bible. So, But as far as research, if he'd stick to that, wow, wow, wow. He's amazing. He's really amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I hope they're not jibber jabber. Minor, minor, minor uh, timeline, calendar, right? minor association, numbers associations between back and forth. And some people are into that and some people aren't. Some people really aren't into it. They don't see it. They don't understand it. I get them making comments. April 8th is the, uh, is the first day, the last Sabbath. It's the, it's, what do they say? They say it's the last Sabbath. They say it is, and it works out for them to be, um, is it a dar 30, a dar 29? And I'm like, there's 31 days in a dar. <laughs> Can't be a dar 29. There's 365 days in a year. You've got to uh, come close to that. Yeah, it was a, it, that was the only thing that really uh, that really frustrated me. I, I, and that, But now he said, he's. I've heard he's changed. I've heard several people say, yeah, you know, and yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I, I've heard, I've heard uh, that uh, he said he's changed and he's, he's, he's looking, he's focusing on studying, which is fantastic because I would love to listen to uh, Kelly's studies. He's really, he's really in depth. Dr. Barry is really in depth and he's a really nice guy. There are going to be people left behind. We know that. We know that that is going to happen. People will be left behind. That's a fact. I can't determine who they are. People want me to say, am I saved? I can't even begin to determine that. But if if you're carrying some baggage with your salvation, like CERN, so that's what that's the definition. They are trying to find God. Does that make them saved? They're trying to find him. They're using a, a particle accelerator to find God. Does that make them saved? How many millions of ways, the Tower of Babel, how many millions of ways are there to try to find God other than just going to a quiet place by yourself, kneeling down and telling your creator, I've got nothing to offer you. I'm a little drummer boy. I have nothing to give you. I really want to go to heaven. I don't know how to even ask you. I come to you with nothing. I come to you naked and he will clothe you. And that's that simple. It's that simple, you know? <clears throat> Like I said, my little skit, you have a ticket, walk over there and ask the guy with long hair and holes in his hand. He'll punch the ticket, first class, flight 777, leaving when? I don't know, maybe tomorrow. I hope. We'll see. Probably should turn this light on. Oh, there we go. Now I'm more even. Yeah, Barry's last video was awesome. They're all awesome. Look, I love all of the watchers and all of their math and all of their... Their deep dive studies like Kelly does and all. I love all of that. That's that's absolutely fantastic what they do, you know. All right. Our attitude depicts our attitude.
it was a hoot. <laughs> I'm a terrible actor. I don't know how to act. But, uh, I mean, Dr. Barry, I don't know how he does that. I, I, I couldn't do that. I, I mean, I couldn't even begin. I, I would just fall apart on something like that. Yeah, every I heard that several times that we're looking for 40 days after, uh, and it'll be a, a Nineveh thing. Um, and it's just, it's just not. If anything, we had that 40 day warning from uh, what was it on uh, February the 28th? It wasn't the festival tree? It was Purim. From Purim to this eclipse is 40 days. I think that was our 40 day warning. And then if you look from October the 7th when Israel was attacked, we're right in there, you know. I didn't do the math from that. I wonder how many days it is. Let's see. That happened October, November, December, January, February, March. Five months. We know that's in the Bible. Five months. Cut the time short to five months lest any flesh will be saved. Maybe that has something to do with the rapture. I don't know. And May, was it May was it, did I say May 20th or May 30th was Ascension Day? All right. I just want to come on here and do this live. You're welcome. Praying for your anxiety. Yes. So I don't, uh, and we need to do that more. Uh, we have in the Discord now a uh, prayer warriors. If you go in the Discord, uh, we have a, a room for prayer, and there's actual, I mean, these people are just really good at prayer. Um, I go in there and read the stuff, and it's just amazing. And uh, you can go in there and, and ask for prayer. You can pray straight to the Lord because uh, he hears everyone's prayer. So uh, I don't know. I have to work tomorrow. I um, might make a video. We'll see. I'm, of course, watching like you are, all the earthquakes that are going on. This was much better with the hard line, wasn't it? So much better. No more uh, delays, no more thinking. It was It was definitely uh, all about the uh, Wi-Fi not working. So not five months, six, October 7th, November, December, January, February, March. Oh, yeah, you're right, April, six months. Same time God turned the, the, the calendars back, 182 days. That works, too. So, yeah, you can go into the Discord, go into the into the prayer room, and uh, and they will pray for you in there. They're very good in in the Discord. We're up to almost uh, two thousand people in Discord, and it's a very good uh, good. There's a lot of information. Patrick's in there. I, what I my Discord's different. I literally just have a room in there. I don't bother. Gina runs it, and uh, Sister Sandy runs it. There's Gina. I don't know. Gina, maybe you could put all the mods that are running Discord in there so they can uh, we can see who they are. Even I don't know uh, that much uh, <clears throat> about it because they run it. It's called Repo Messi Store, but there are rooms in there that uh, Patrick, for example, runs his room. And uh, from End Time Watchmen, he's in there and he does so much math and he's more more mathematical than I am. And there are people that are in there talking with him and I'm just sitting there mind blown over the, some of the stuff they get. It's amazing. So I heard it was 118, 117, something like that. Eastern Standard Time, I think it was Max Eclipse. So I'm not sure. Yeah, we could all go jump on. Rosemary's been uh, uh, pushing Cool Cat since she's been in here. <laughs> That's awesome. If he's live, I guess uh, I guess we could go. I've got to uh, work in the morning, so maybe it is a good time to go over to uh, Cool Cat and watch him. Um, yeah, many places are showing it live. There you go. K oh, Kaylin. I didn't know Kaylin was a mod. That's awesome. Kaylin's been in there for almost from the beginning. Sister Wanda. And I are to help and organize and encourage. Are there? Yeah. Sister Sandy's a mod in there too, isn't she? I think she is. I'm not sure. But you can go in there. Like I said, they just, the, the, uh, 
like I started to say, and I lost track of what I was saying, is my Discord is different in that I have a room. Patrick has a room. There are several rooms. They will post those people's videos in their rooms and maybe in the main room to get them over to their room and then discuss the video. Uh, sometimes we try to stop a lot of chatter about other subjects in that person's room. Sometimes it upsets people, but we try to keep the rooms uh, to that subject matter uh, so that it can be discussed properly, uh, like-minded people. Uh, I am fully convinced that there are uh, tribulation saints all around and that it is very important that uh, they have a source of information afterwards, uh, after the rapture occurs. Where they are, I don't know. I'm not saying they're in Discord. Uh, they're just everywhere. And uh, the information that they're going to need is, is very important uh, once the rapture occurs. Should we stay inside? I don't know. I heard that they were they were going to do something. I, I, maybe for that alone. I don't know. Not for the rapture, though. I mean, if the rapture occurs at the eclipse, you wouldn't necessarily, it wouldn't matter where you are. One second you'll be here, and in the blink of an eye, you'll be standing in heaven. That's it. It'll be that quick. You won't be just flying around like a ghost, looking at earth, looking up. It, it's not how it's going to work. It's going to be instantaneous. You'll be standing in heaven. I know I've heard a lot of dreams of people floating up and stuff, but it, the Bible's pretty clear that it's instantaneous. You'll be standing in heaven. You can't mess it up. I heard, like I said in the last video, I heard somebody say, oh, if you look back, that's the, that's silly. That is literally silly. That's not, <laughs> if you look back like Lot's wife, she was already looking back. She was already in the world. That's what that fish, you have one fish looking up and one fish looking back at earth. That's, they're already in the world. They will not let go of the world of all the stuff they've got going on here. So, all righty, well, I guess I should get off. I don't want to kill Cool Cat's uh, uh, viewers. So uh, we will uh, we will chat with you again if uh, if I can. Now that I have the computer fixed, I'm really happy about that. I'll do this more often. It was nice getting on here and chatting with everybody. Uh, if the rapture's tomorrow, I'll see you all there. Um, I hope it is. Uh, if not, we're going to keep researching and keep studying. I don't, that's just Jack, that, that I don't know if the transformation takes place instantly or is it the, the, us being raptured? I know we'll be changed and caught up, so I don't know. That's a good question. I thought it was all instantly both at the same time. I know that this body, if it gets, if it goes through a ceiling, uh, isn't going to last uh, very long. I'm going to be a splotch on the ceiling. So I'm pretty sure you're right. We have to be changed and then go. Uh, it would be pretty messy if uh, if we had to go through the ceiling uh, before we were changed. End times talk is that uh, Josh? I believe Josh. Yeah, he te we we uh, we text back and forth uh, about his garden and stuff. He's uh, he's very strict, very firm on the concept that you cannot know the day or the hour, but he is, I believe he's a bride. He's searching, uh, but he's not, uh, he, he clearly says <clears throat> that you can't know. But I, I think that uh, there's going to be a lot of people that think that, that will wind up in heaven. Oh, there's only one good man. I'm not a good man. There's only one really good man. That's Jesus. But thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate that. Yes, the thumbs up button. All right, I'm going to get off here and get inside, and uh, i got to get up at 5 in the morning to go to work. So I appreciate everybody coming in, and we will see you on the other side. We're back here. If I find some more information, I have a feeling that what we're going to see is an uptick in a lot of things. If we don't go tomorrow, there's going to be a huge uptick on things uh, that are going down with Israel. and uh, That's the apple of God's eye, and, and that's the timepiece. So we keep looking. Uh, <laughs> cool cat just wants his viewers back. We'll just keep looking to Israel. All right. You guys are silly. All right. Let me get off here. Guys, go over and watch Cool Cat. Uh, hopefully he's in the deep dives and not in the uh, 
out in the uh, St. Peter, don't you call me because I can't go <laughs> mode tonight. All right. We'll chat with you all again later. I don't know how to turn this off. Oh, here it is. Never mind.